This is something you're going to want to know. You're going to want to know this about addiction. And why do I say you'll want to know about it? Because addiction is so rampant. Last uh, time I looked at the math or the statistics from last year, 106,000 people died uh, in this country from fentanyl. So it's hitting home, and a lot of you are seeing it, and you're seeing it. When I say it, it's hit home, I mean, if it's not you who's watching this, then somebody in your family is, or some close friend, or somebody at work that you know is dealing with addiction. And so it's become a very rampant thing. And uh, something that I've learned recently from a very close loved one, a loved one who's going through this addiction and is coming out on the other side of it, is... Something, and I, and I, this was weeks ago that I was told this, so I finally can talk about this without getting a little bit emotional. I don't like to get emotional on social media stuff. I just don't. It's just my thing. Um, but anyway, so now I can finally talk about it without getting too emotional. And what I was told was, it, is that it's not, it's not after you, especially with like fentanyl, after the high, and we, we talk about this a lot. You've, you've probably heard this said a lot that people are chasing the high or whatever. But actually what's happening, as it was described to me, is that once you get that high, then you're now looking for the next fix. Not so that you can get high necessarily, but so that you don't get sick. And they deal with this terrible sickness. So there are movies, if you watch like Ray or the... Walk the Line movie about Johnny Cash. So you get, you've got those two examples of Ray Charles and then Johnny Cash where you watch them in the movie go through withdrawals. And it, and it doesn't take long. I think after three days, this is what I was told, after three days you start the withdrawals that are so painful and you're so sick that you will do anything to not get sick. And what's really sad, and this is what I wanted to share in this, you probably knew all that, but maybe you didn't, that they're not trying to just get something so they can get high. They're trying to get something so that they don't get sick. Um, and imagine yourself having like the worst flu you've ever had where you're just vomiting and everything and you're just praying, just, I, I'll just go ahead and die now, you know, if you've ever been that sick. That's what they do, guaranteed. And so they're doing everything they can to not experience that. So knowing that is helpful. The other thing is, and it's very sad, is this person told me, that when you're in the midst of that addiction, you you look at people and you wish you could be any one of them except for yourself, but that's not all. This person told me, you can even look at a tree and think the same thing. I would rather be that tree. That tree will never deal with getting sick like this. Um, you You even look at light poles like that. It would be nice to just be a light pole because I would never have to worry about getting sick. So something that's really important to remember as we look at people around, maybe on the street corner, and we think that person just wants money for drugs. That person wants a fix to not get sick. Keep that in your mind.